so it was nice uh, to dedicate uh, uh, an album, you know, to guitarists because uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful instrument very, and very compatible with the piano. What impressed me about the project was how seamless the integration was. You have um, guys with disparate styles. You have guys who approach their instruments differently. Uh, Bill Frisell does something different than John Schofield, than May Fleck, than Mark Rebo, than Derek Trucks, okay? So each one of those guys has a stylistic preference. The uh, beauty of this project is how they all found common ground with McCoy. So I, I just think it's interesting that he wanted to devote a whole album to uh, 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 the idea of bringing guitar into his sound. Koi just said, what do you want to play? He asked me what I wanted to play, and I've never been on a record by somebody else where they said, what do you feel like playing? It was like a jam session in that way. Uh, so I picked McCoy Tyner Classics and uh, Blues on the Corner, uh, and, which is one of his great blues heads that I learned years and years before. And then Mr. PC, which is a tune everybody plays, but McCoy wrote the book on that too. <laughs> materialize their ideas musically. I think uh, serving in that position is very, very vital. Some people know how to solo, but how to come to people and help them to uh, see their ideas expand and, you know, materialize is really uh, very, very important, I think. I believe that if you get in a room with a musician like McCoy, who's a great musician and really willing, imaginative, and willing to try new things, um, 
then we can f we could find common ground, and I think it worked out that way. session. You walk in the room and it's, you know, it's Ron Carter and, and Jack DeJohnette, who I'm huge fans of, and then you see McCoy and it's even a generation deeper, you know. so influenced by that sound which changed jazz completely and McCoy was part of that so much a part of it I think there's always something to do that you haven't done or if you haven't done uh, exactly it's always that the idea runs in your mind well, what else can I do it's always something always comes up no, no two days are the same so we look forward to tomorrow because that has gonna be different from yesterday and today. Hopefully it's a good one.